All right, with 57, we have a question where we're told the number of graduates and non-graduates adds up to 80 in a particular uh, poll. And um, it's asking us how many how many are college graduates. So we're looking for this G. So if you look at statement one, statement one tells us that uh, the college graduates is three times, th those who are not college graduates is three times those who are. So the not college graduates is three times those who are graduates. Not college grads is equal to three times those who are graduates. So the good thing about this is I can just take this NG, which is this value, and just plug it right there. And if I do that, I end up with G plus 3G equal to 80. I can find G that way pretty easily. I don't even need to go all the way. I know this is going to be sufficient. If I look at statement 2, um, it says that the number of adults who are not college grad is 40 more. So those who are not grad is 40 more than those who are grads. Again, this is very helpful information because I can take this NG, which is 40 plus G, and you could take it and just plug it right there. And if I do that, I'm going to end up with G plus 40 plus G equal to 80. Again, I, I'm looking for G at the end of the day, right? If I look here, G is the only thing that's left really um, in my equation. So I know I have one unknown here, one equation, I can also do it. So the answer here is going to be D because if we look at our map, yes to the statement one, yes to statement two, and that brings us to D as the answer. So just be patient with it, write the equations out, sub it back into the question that they asked in the beginning, the answer is D.